As we head into a new semester, here are 10 tips that I learned last semester that helped me the most as we transitioned into online learning. The first thing I learned was to experiment in the beginning of the semester. In the first few weeks, the workload tends to be lighter academic-wise, so it's a really good time to figure out which study method works best for each class. This way, when your workload starts getting harder in the middle and end of the semester, you already have an established system you can fall back on. I wish I had known about this tip last semester because I spent definitely a lot of unneeded time figuring out the best study method for chemistry and definitely spent a lot of time taking unneeded notes when the best method for me was actually just to focus more on practice problems and practice tests, as well as going to the TA sessions. My second tip is to double check for everything you turn in online, because even though we've been taught this since like very young, it's something that a lot of people, even including me, are very lazy to do but it's actually very underrated because you can usually catch a lot of silly mistakes that you make, especially for online when you just type everything really fast and you don't really like think about what you're doing sometimes, it's very useful to double check your answers. And double checking our work actually brings me to today's sponsor, which I will now show. This portion of the video is kindly sponsored by Grammarly, the digital writing assistant of my dreams. The free version of Grammarly is very useful for basic grammar suggestions, however the premium version provides you with much more in-depth writing feedback. I started using Grammarly Premium for the first semester of college, and it's helped me so much with proofreading and editing my emails and essays. In general, my writing tends to be a little bit too wordy, and the editor's Clarity AI system helps me cut down unnecessary words for more effective communication. The vocabulary suggestions are also very useful for expanding your vocabulary and making your writing more exciting and fun to read. Another one of my favorite features is the plagiarism detector, which checks your writing across 16 billion web pages to ensure that your writing is your own. To add Grammarly, go to the Chrome store, search Grammarly, and click add extension. If you're interested, you can head to grammarly.com slash cafe study for 20% off Grammarly premium. My third tip is to try to go outside at least once a day. Online learning can get really repetitive at some point, and you need something to kind of break up the monotony of studying and lectures and it's a really nice way to get a breath of fresh air and feel like you're physically doing something. It's a great way to boost your mental and physical health at the same time and it's also really easy. All you have to do is really just go outside and walk for any amount of time that you want and then just come back and do whatever you want to do inside. Another tip for online learning is to make a reward system. If you're having trouble starting and making progress on a task, create a reward and use it as a pull factor to get the task done. For simple and easier tasks, the reward can be as simple as just the feeling of having it done and out of the way. And for harder tasks, the reward could be finally starting a game you've been meaning to play or reading a book that you've wanted to start for a long time. And with greater rewards, you might also want to get the help of a friend to keep you accountable so you don't just go play the game or read the book without doing the task. Another way to make online learning easier is to find ways to relate to the study material. We all have those subjects that we like less than other subjects, but we have to do them anyway, so in that case, just try to find ways to make it a little more interesting. For example, for my art history class, I tried to base my project on art that was connected to my family history and things that are part of my culture so I could relate to them on a more personal level. It also made me more motivated to research and find out more about the art itself. Another really important tip is to check your school notifications at least once a day. Since online classes come with lots of changes and last minute revisions, it's really important to keep up to date with everything that's happening with your class. Also, don't be afraid to reply to your teachers and with any questions that you might have, since it's the only form of communication that you have with your teachers for the most part, aside from synchronous classes if you have them. If you're having trouble with any assignment or assignment instructions, please contact your teacher. They are really there to help you and they won't know if you're struggling if you don't let them know. My next tip is to make a reason to get out of bed in the morning. 
Sometimes I had a lot of trouble getting up out of bed in the morning at a reasonable hour. Even if I were to wake up at say around 9, sometimes I wouldn't get out of bed until 11 or 12 just because I'd be on my phone. So to combat this, what I started doing was to set a task that had to be completed at a certain time in the morning just so I would be able to do it and have a reason to get out of bed. You could set tasks like be outside by a certain time or water the plants or something that anything that really gets you out of bed. Usually if I'm out of bed for at least 10 minutes, I'll probably be too lazy to crawl back inside. But just tailor it to your preferences. Another tip is to time block your study sessions. Set a timer and tell yourself you'll only study for that amount of time. And then after that, you can either choose to keep studying or you can take a break. This really helps with busy days in particular because I find that I'm able to get a lot more done this way. Another tip is to participate in lectures as it helps you stay more engaged and awake. So while I'm not saying you have to comment and add a question in every single lecture, it's a lot more helpful for staying engaged if you occasionally pop a question and reply to someone else's question. It also helps you feel like you're in an actual classroom rather than just talking to an empty screen. Study at a time that suits you. There's no best study time for everybody. It took me a while personally to figure out that I'm not a morning study person at all. While I do like to wake up early sometimes, in general, I like the late night a lot better for studying and editing actually. So in general, I'm just more productive in the light time for some reason. So I've kind of learned to accept that and accept that I'm not the person that studies at 7 a.m. And it just works for me better. So experiment with different study times and figure out the time that you're most productive. That said though, if you're someone who has to wake up early in the morning, then do make sure to go to sleep earlier at night. And the last bonus tip is to not neglect your relationships. Make sure to every once in a while talk to your friends and family and take a break sometimes. And it's really nice to just catch up and see what everyone else is doing. Best of luck to everybody who is starting their new semester soon and make sure to comment your own study advice below and with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.